Sherry writes, I heard that Mr. Schnepp had a two-week fear of the water after seeing the original Jaws mm -hmm. film as a kid. But can you all <laughs> name a film that gives you nightmares or at least used to? For me, I remember when I saw Aliens as a kid, I couldn't go to sleep with the lights off for ages after fearing the alien lurked in the room, and yet I love that film. Are there movies from when you were younger that kept you up at nights? Or maybe there are some more recent ones that gave you restless sleep. Oh, I can't wait to hear Christian's answer. He's not the biggest fan of horror movies anyway. I'm going to tell you mine right off the bat is I saw Pet Cemetery in the theater when I was entirely too young to see that movie. Mm -hmm. I wasn't freaked out by Church the Cat. I wasn't creeped out by any of those things. There's a maybe not that necessary side plot of that movie that involves the wife and the sister that she had growing up. And my God, Zelda... I'm coming to twist your spine. You'll never walk again. Oh, my God. It is the scariest thing I've seen to this day. And The Nun in Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 always gave me nightmares. Mm. It wasn't anything Freddy Krueger was doing, because by that point, he was pretty much working funny bones on the side. But The Nun <laughs> in Nightmare on Elm Street 3, she's wearing the all-white, the away nun uniform, one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen just because she's just standing there looking at you. And I always thought that could pop out in the court of my room at any time. Christian, what do you got? Uh, it. Pennywise. That mm -hmm. got me. Uh, Pennywise got me for sure. Are you not a clown guy? Are, and no, are I you? am. I don't mind clowns. It's just that, that Timothy Curry's portrait. We all float. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the face, the way he would just kind of. That face. It was so creepy. Yeah. That's a meme. That's hardcore uh, Harry right yeah, there. Yeah, so hardcore <laughs> Harry. Come on in to my van. Yeah. Um, and what the other one was the first Nightmare on Elm Street with the, with the arms, yeah, be, you know, you, the guys haunting you in your in your dreams. Yeah. So those were the two. And I, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, I think it was Paranormal Activity Three. We were we it went was, to a, we yeah. went to a screening, yeah. and I lived in my old place. And I remember, uh, and these things don't usually creep me out because it's just like they're so lazy normally these movies. But there was something about that movie. I, I I'm I think I've told the story before, but I got into my garage, and I heard something. I'm like. Fuck this! And I just ran out <laughs> of the garage. Just left left the door open in there. Just got out. I go. I'll, if, the, if the battery runs out and anything, it doesn't matter. I think I broke a coffee mug. Yeah, that's to Toby Demon is not a fun guy yeah. to wrestle with when you live in a place by yourself. That oscillating fan trick they did in part <laughs> yeah. three. That's a pretty sweet maneuver. Snap! What do you got besides the yeah. obvious job? When I was a, ki a little kid, a, a TV movie that came on was called "Don't Be Afraid of the Dark," and uh, <laughs> Guillermo del Toro recently remade it, which mm. wasn't as scary as the original one for me, at least. As a little kid, these little goblin oh, creatures right, 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 that right. dragged this girl into the, into the he cellar. He produced that, right? Well, the new version, yeah. but the original one he did. It was just a TV movie, but I used to torture my sister like, Sally. They would you know, <laughs> say that stuff, but it creeped me out, too. But I was able to transfer my fear of it and, and torture my sister with it. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street was another one. I saw it when I was in high school, and it just affected me. It gave me nightmares because it was about a weird, creepy freakish dude who murders you in your dreams so like it was maybe not want to go to sleep like is there something like that it was really fun i love horror films i loved uh texas chainsaw massacre i love all those of the thing i just remember yeah. seeing films like that they really get you going i love having nightmares i gotta say the, mo the more uh one of the more original ones that i saw recently was the conjuring yeah. i thought that was a really good yeah, really yeah. scary yeah. film that like just kept the had a really nice slow build and it just kept ratcheting up. So it was very satisfying. It's a weird thing. We can't explain why we love horror. It's like yeah. eating Taco Bell. We know we're going to regret it afterwards, but in the moment, it just feels so good. Natasha, is there a movie oh. when you were a child that really, really scared you that you just had so nightmares you couldn't get there over it? Comes. I mean, there might have been one that we've talked about recently. Oh, <laughs> Definitely E.T. for sure, but a couple what of other ones. She it? hates E.T. She hates him. Just so Are you working ugly. for the government? Do you want to do research on them? You want to cut them open? No, That's definitely funny. not. I would not want to cut that open <laughs> at all. But um, signs really freaks me out. Good one. That yeah. one was really scary. I definitely had to turn on all the lights in any like hallways. Keep a lot of water near you. Yeah. And um, another one was The Grudge, which I find is pretty funny now because when I watch it, I'm like, this movie is not scary. But back in the day, that terrified when me. When that for kid sure. does the mouth to the. Oh, yeah. yeah little uh, floating blue kid. Yeah. The and cat signs, kid. man. The birthday party and signs when you just oh, see the. Real ooh. quick walk. Yeah. Yeah. Signs is so ah, scary. Very terrifying stuff. <laughs> all right. Let's get that out of my head with our last mailbag question. Hey, guys, if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider